I think guys this week I fell in love because I went to this cafe I tried this cake carrot cake and a cup of uh, coffee I think it was a latte decaf latte and I fell in love you can see the love heart maybe <laughs> I fell in love and I've been having it like I just I think I had it like three or four times after like the same week the same thing i just had a crave for it guys if you've been watching my videos you know how obsessed i am with flowers so this is another arrangement and i'm just going to do a quick video where i put them in a vase and yeah just how i do it I felt like this verse wasn't working for me so I tried switching it up trying another one but it was too wide and it just didn't look as good <laughs> so I ended up like transferring them to the first one and yeah I just thought it was a lovely arrangement on this day we had lovely weather and i was just getting ready to go out <laughs> and i ended up going to primark and i bought these cute little hair accessories and also i bought a hair clip and a hair brush i didn't take a picture of the hair brush but this is how the hair accessories 
whatever that that thing <laughs> it's looked on my hair it was really nice and it's just what i wanted because i wanted something to hold my hair back So we headed out on this day for an Easter dinner at Wildwood. It was really nice and I enjoyed the drink I had. The burger, not so much. Uh, it was a bit burnt to my taste. But I can recommend the hotel because it was really nice, a nice restaurant. And the steak because I ate it off someone's plate was actually good. So I really got some positive comments about last week's video because I did like a part about how to deal with jealousy, how Christians should deal with jealousy. And yeah, thank you guys for like sharing your thoughts. I've had like conversations with people. I really did want to incorporate my faith into my videos, but I didn't know how to do it. I wanted to do a part on numerology this week, like things I've learned as a Christian. Is it something that you should believe in? specifically about angel numbers i remember there was a time i was learning high school i just started noticing numbers like every time i touch my phone and see it's 111 or 1111 then we went out i remember i went out with my cousin and there was a car the number plate was it was in front of us 1111 then i kept on seeing the number then there was a big board and there was a telephone number to call it had so many ones like 07 like one or another. And I don't know, you know, you can like see something and it won't like there would there won't be an, a reaction from you. But I knew like it's something like it means something, it has to mean something. So that's when I started doing some research to find out if it meant something. And obviously um it led me to angel numbers and I started believing in angel numbers up until recently where I do not. I do believe that um, God speaks to us through numbers. I just don't believe in angel numbers. I just feel like they are totally different things. Yeah, I feel like the devil corrupts everything. He doesn't have an original thought. Things that God meant for good or created for good. He just picks that up and bends it or breaks it or corrupts it something that's what he does he's not like he's the least creative person like by and by because i've been growing in faith i realized that god does talk to us through uh, through numbers god does talk talk to us through numbers but it doesn't necessarily mean that's the end of numbers we see online because uh, if you go online there'll be like so many meanings attached to 11 11 one is alignment i remember these things on like off my head because like there were things i actually believed in but i remember when i was going through like a period a tough period that's when i came to know of uh, strong concordance i would see videos of like people uh, preaching and they would say that like if you see a number or if you keep seeing a number or if you have a vision seeing a number look it up in strong concordance so that's what i did because the other day i had a dream and i saw a number long story different story so i just i had this thing where recently i also started seeing 11 11 and 1 11 and it's been very very often and i remember i told god i said god what does this mean so there was something i had applied for and i was really really eagerly waiting for it and i remember i got a reply back from the people i had applied to and it was on march 11th 11 11 and that time, whatever I had applied for, it wasn't mine. I was still in the application process. 
I just had like it was like a confirmation from God that this is something I had planned for you. Because one thing I always say like God lead me, I don't want to leave myself. So when I got that email, I was like maybe this means something. But because I had so much doubt, I had uh, been in a period where things were not fucking out, like things were hard, things were tough. I couldn't get myself to like actually believe that this is a sign from God true to like god's faithfulness god is always faithful whether you are doubting or believing he will always keep his word true to his like actions it was like a confirmation and it actually happened because god is faithful so that like led me to believe that oh yeah like really god does speak to us through numbers and that's why there's a book in the bible called numbers because numbers are important also and what i just wanted to say is that i do believe god can speak to us in different ways like do not limit god <laughs> You might think like numbers are too silly but it's not like you know god will speak to you in a language that you personally will understand and no one else will understand even if you tell that story to someone else most christians get it but he does like if like sometimes even the simple smallest things and the thing with god is very personal like i like the way he has like this intimacy with all of us so for you you might find that god can speak to you through a different kind of way but like that's what i just wanted like i guess that's what uh, that's what made me do this do not limit god he can talk to you through any kind of way like any kind of way be surprised like he'll surprise you he'll challenge your um reality your expectations because sometimes you don't expect some things to happen but they do actually happen and yeah i hope this one speaks to someone that you should not limit god you should always like expect the unexpected with god he is a god of surprises and i mean that in the most loving way because he's a loving father like oh my god one thing i had to learn and actually believe is that god is good god is love god is faithful god is eternal god is just amazing and and thank you for listening and i hope you guys tune in to the rest of my vlog Now let's get rid of these dead plants i need to get them out of my room because i actually read somewhere that like having dead things or dead plants like burying dead animals around you or near you actually brings bad feng shui i hope i'm saying it right but it's a chinese word and it's just about like balance like you have to have like a good balance so yeah i'm just going to throw them out and already like i've already like replaced them i have a new set of flowers and replaced them with new positive and alive plants yeah i just think it was an energy around because i had another dead plant like i was shocked like i actually took really good care of like this plant and to be honest i feel like it was ungrateful because <laughs> i gave it so much love water and everything like attention but it dried up 
and yeah i just saw like the bulbs had already started rotting so i was like i could not do anything to save this so it also had to go out in the bin the spirit of reuse reduce recycle i decided to reuse this pot so i gave it a little wash and yeah now i'll be on the lookout for a new plant because i had three plants three babies now i'm down to two and there's a void to fill <laughs> I decided guys to show you my lunch plus dinner combo like it's a whole package in one meal <laughs> so i usually make it when i'm not feeling like um cooking or like eating twice and you know some it's like a version of it's like actually it is english breakfast but yeah i just find it really filling and um just a good a good um suffering and waiting where we are more focused on the waiting part to song shout for joy you who never heard later because more of each other are the desert women than a further the problem about this meal is that there are so many things to cook so many things to prepare so you will definitely take quite some time preparing it but because i didn't want to like be back in the kitchen in the evening i was like it's fine i'm going to do it to trust the lord in my barren land is of your heart perhaps it's it's struggle with parenting children and children there are particular did give you guys a warning that i was up to so many things last week so now gardening um so i don't think it's something i'd say i'm very confident in 
but yeah these were the potted plants that we had to um, plant in the soil in the dirt and yeah i think i did a good job but you guys will see that later <laughs> what do you think guys i actually think i did a good job for like doing it for the first time <laughs> and i was proud and happy i did receive some instructions though but yeah i did a good job So this was one of my lazy days i was just having i don't know i just didn't feel like doing anything i didn't want to get out of my bed and i was even doing my hair in my bed uh you and yes but but i tried to like be productive at the end of the day After finishing I just got this burst of energy and I decided okay I need to get up I need to do things so I started by making my bed and I I started sorting out my laundry the laundry that I had done that week I needed to take it out of the air and fold and oh my god yeah so let's get into it One unattractive trait that I have is how critical I can be when it comes to movies. Like, I'll check when it was released, the date, the actors, everything. Like, oh my god! But I decided to watch Love Rosie. So I've watched it before, but like I was kind of in this mood where I wanted to know how this story ends. Just wanna tell you. 
since i lost one plant this week i decided to check on my other plants my two babies and they were doing well and yeah i just don't want to have another one um dying on me thank you i'll be here to stay the worst thing is that if you're not productive during the day it will be hard to get some sleep especially for me so i was just i had like so much energy i decided to go for on a bike ride to the supermarket buy some ice cream and i just got this random idea that making a milkshake will be something that um fun something that would um make me more i don't know i just yeah i decided to buy things to make a milkshake coupled with my milkshake ingredients i did buy some things that i thought i needed but maybe i didn't need them but i just bought them anyway so i was just doing an what's it called this is not an un unboxing and un unpack no uh something you just get well you get the idea <laughs> To be very very honest guys i do not know what i'm doing like i normally look things up and have a recipe and i try to so this day i was just like it has to work like this then the most disappointing part was all this effort all this effort like i went to the supermarket came back and did all this for the blender not to work yeah so the blender didn't work so i just winged it put some milk in my cup ice cream mixed it up <laughs> and uh put whipping cream on top and that's my milkshake if you have reached the end of this video thank you thank you for tuning into my vlog and i hope to see you guys next week bye Mwah.